That echo's coming from you. Oh, uh, maybe. maybe. Yeah, I'm going to wait for the echo to pass for a second. And here we go. Let's see. I'm going to close out. Should I close out Zed TV? Maybe I'll close. Yeah. Close out. Should I close out Zed TV? Maybe. Go ahead and close that out. Just click off that window. We better now, right? Yeah. So just so you know, because this is the first time you called, Daniel, that um, when, you, when you're on the TV, when we have it, when you Skype us, you can't see us, but the, we're actually on the screen of Dead TV now. Oh, all right, cool. Cool. So, how are you doing? Good. Pretty good. How are you doing? It's a little bit chilly here. Yeah, it got cold out this morning. It's like... Where are you calling from? I went from? to get cigarettes. I'm right outside of New York, you know? Okay. Very cool. It's fucking, it just dropped like fucking 10 degrees since last night. Supposedly it's going to be a rough winter in some places. Not so bad on the East Coast. They said on the East Coast, the Midwest is going to be really bad. Europe's going to be bad. They're expecting. Yeah, this. that's what I hear. It's going to come this way though any day now. Something like four or five. They call them weather events. So I guess that would be big blizzards or something like yeah. that. Yeah, our winter is going to be rough over here. We're not prepared for it at all. I don't think they're prepared down on Wall Street, but that's okay because. Oh, dude, you know what? Um, check it out. There's an AM New York, right? A you familiar with AM New York or Metro? I lived in Ma Manhattan. I know. Yeah, so those stupid newspapers, they like go on the AP wire, obviously, for people who don't know. But uh, And they print up stuff. It's basically propaganda, and they give sure. it out for free. So what they were doing now, about three weeks ago, there was a little blurb in there about Anonymous Online, and it was just their symbol, that question mark with the Apple sure. logo kind of thing. Yeah. Right. And um, they said they were they were uh, going to release all the stuff that we've been talking about on, you know, just that everybody's aware of whatever yeah. the stuff about the NYPD and crap. Yeah. So now um, what happened was this uh, Thursday morning on the way to work, I picked one up and looked at it. They said um, uh, 7000 people showed up right down there now. Yeah. So then in Friday morning. They said 14,000 people showed up down there now, right? There's yeah. been, obviously, we know, 800 arrests. It's actually more than that. Of they're course. not They're not fucking, you know what they're doing? They're doing illegal search and seizures on guys like me with long fucking hair. I was down there. They were fucking pinning me around because they thought I was down there, like, selling people bud and shit. Yeah. And, like, mushrooms or whatever. And I'm not, I'm, like, not. So it's, like, it's fucking weird. And, um... Like, if you go out on the Lower East Side or something at yeah. night, dude, you don't even, you can't even have, like, fun. It's like a police state on every corner. I'm talking yeah. the gigantic cops they pulled out. Yeah. The guys are, like, eight feet RoboCop sure. with, like, full AK, like, crazy. And you're just out having a good time going to see DJs or chilling, whatever. And it's like, what the fuck? So we just, well, like, got well, look, out. My apartment was on Houston and A. I lived there for a couple years. Yeah, that's a sweet little nice spot. Yeah, well, I lucked out. But um, but you got did you have rent control because now I mean it's like fucking twenty five hundred dollars a month for check this uh, out. <clears throat> I get I get bro deals because you know I worked hard. I'm an artist, so people sometimes I get they like hook you up right. They hook you up with like a, a spot that they so have. My, my rent like my rent was five hundred for a two bedroom on house. Yeah, that's a. insane, dude. You're that's awesome. The the chick that owned the place had it for twenty seven years before I got there. Right, so that's fucking grand. Yeah. And I'm Maybe, sure the city wants to fucking kill her, well, take her out of there. Yeah, you know, they, they were kicking everybody uh, out of the building one by one. And they knew, they knew. They, yeah. They knew. There's about, one, uh, I read about one man in the West Village who's lived there, like, forever, uh, right? We got, we, rent, like, we got booted, but it was because I was yelling, the next door neighbors did it to us, like, because I was yelling through the wall when I was on mushrooms one time. Because this, yeah. this guy was such a dickhead. He had, like, yeah. opera lessons all, uh, like, till late with people yeah but then he would just like when i was doing my thing he would just like because we're and really he, social we cook for everybody oh yeah he would just like fucking bang on the walls and shit and i hate i hate uh passive aggressive behavior those are the type of people who read like the downtown journal and they think like that's god like jazz oh the downtown jazz scene oh that's where we have to go you know like the and opera like you said it's like these fucking middle class, like, uh, it's like 40s, really, now. It's like these fucking people, they have no grasp on any fucking thing that happens with, people, with like... People are selfish, you know. Uh, I, I've learned something from living in Germany. You know, they don't put up with noise after 10 from anybody. 
as a culture. You know, but that's a that's a good general. All right, that's a general conception, really. Here too. I mean, no, that's I just, a law. That's just in my it's head, a law. You know I mean? It's the law here. Yeah. So yeah. Well, it's the law in some of the shore towns, like in Jersey too. Yeah. It's like it's even actually like nine o'clock. You feel like you're in fucking Camazots. Remember that book from The Giver or whatever? You but feel like a, you're fucking there. It's okay, except for you know they're raising hell on the bars here in Berlin. I feel yeah, for, here too. I feel for some people because you know, like I had some French friends that opened up a place, and I know some other people that opened up a place, and that you know, like these people just move into these gentrified areas, and then they start calling the police at ten o'clock, and it's kind of bullshit because yeah, we, we want we want to work with the community, but you know what, we don't want to turn this shit into Frankfurt either. No, it's just right. like a happy mix. Yeah, that's that's I cool. Thought, and it's cool I, that those people drop the dime on bullshit. It's just so stupid. I mean, I'm a stranger here, right? And I live right. I live in East East Germany, but right. and, but I try and really, I have a lot of respect for all the old people and just people that I see around and, and the way they do. Yeah, look at how much shit they've been through compared to us, even. Well, just I mean, in we general, haven't been through shit compared to them. Really. Just in general, I try and pay attention to what's going on. So because they definitely view me. You know, I'm I'm not from I'm German, but I'm not from Germany, right? I'm German too, but I'm not from Germany, right? right. So like you go there, you're fucking so, totally, yeah. And I, I can out, economically outpower these these locals all the way. Not the, yeah, you not got that landlords. nice upper hand now. Well, <laughs> not the landlords, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Well, you're a property owner though now, right? No, I I rent. Oh, you rented that whole place? You renovated and shit like that? Yeah, we built built a suit. So, so they like that's pretty cool. They let you do that like well, this that. Well, this is my this is my studio, and then, you know, I have the apartment that I live in. See, I don't like to live where I work, but I set up my studio like it's livable at the same right, time right. for guests and and for yeah, it looks cozy. It looks like a, it looks like a, a cozy little music dorm. <laughs> yeah, it's set up. It's set up like a loft upstairs, you know. Right. Like anybody who lived in a warehouse part place would know oh yeah like bushwick sure it's completely set up like that like that open floor kind of but then Without downstairs the down, well, <laughs> then downstairs it's all the studio right right yeah that's cool um what was i gonna say uh about that going back to that thing with the uh with people right so now like i'm in a union i'm a bunch of people i know are in unions whatever different trades they're all getting down there now now check this out anonymous right this is just like a weird kind of thing, like I guess conspiracy theory, whatever you want to call it. But check it out. If they they said they're gonna wait till fall, it's pretty much fall. So if they release some shit about the NYPD, they've already been beating the fuck out of all these kids for no reason, right? They've already been fucking them really bad. They they've been saying shit on the news like they're gonna they can shoot planes down. They they're making themselves look like uh, an imperialistic army in the city, right? Even though they don't act like that. Cause well, you have all... to know what's going what what's really going on. Are you are you ready for this? But let me just say one thing. Well, let right me finish. Now. Let me let me finish the lowdown. Okay, okay. I want you to understand something about the United States too. Right. In the in that big territory with all those people, right? Right. It's set up into quarters and divisions. Sixteen million. Sixteen million Listen, in the whole thing. But it's set up into territories and, and divisions with right. each, each one having a certain amount of an an auto, autonomy. Correct. As far for like, if you want to talk about FEMA or other things, there's regional areas and and in the eastern se seaboard, and then that megalopolis that that's New York City and surrounding like urban connections. They have like localized sort of plans that people have taken. See, because like if if something happened to California, like what do you mean by community, community, community com to community? You mean neighborhood well, to neighborhood? You just, you just brought up Kelly talking about shooting it down to airplanes in the NYPD, right? But as far as like a um, security apparatus, right? Thing, yeah. There's there's New York City and surrounding territory has a certain amount of anatom uh, an autonomy from, say, what. They would do in the south or something else. Meaning, like, they can isolate themselves in a situation. Yeah, they have, they have complete contingency plans for that sort of thing. Right, I rightly, understand. rightly I mean, so. I, rightly I, so, because the responsibility yeah. of just the urban environment is over twenty million people. 
Right. So you have to remember, even with rich people or four by fours, people with some resources, people that have stuff up in the upstate New York or Pennsylvania places to go, even yeah. a logistical nightmare of a panic will block, get out of there. will block the roads. Right. So they have, oh, they have all I kinds of stuff. Doing. They have all kinds of stuff in place in that area. Um, you know, because it would be a logistical nightmare just to even fly stuff in. Oh, forget it. So they have well, stuff in place that's that's under the auspices of in command of a regional area. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. no, I just think it's, it's crazy. Micro, I mean, it's, you see it's, these guys now. It's micromanaged. Well, wanna... It's micromanaged. And right, yeah. since, since – forget about 911 nine for a second – you got to go back to ninety three, and there was an event. Right. There was there was the event in the towers too. The U haul bombing. So yep. a certain amount of the powers that be, that reside there, and do business in New York City, have demanded and taken upon themselves to like do a little bit of their own micromanagement of their like how that leadership style and the contingency plans and the policing and the surveillance. The surveillance, right? In different areas, you know, they they yeah. they do it a little bit differently, you know. In New York, I, there's a I lot mean, of people now that they're down there. They're just doing that search and seizure thing like it's going out of style. I don't know if they're trying to make more money or whatever the fuck it is. I guess for guns too, but it's really like I think it's they think everyone's just hippies and on drugs. But it, you go down there and you see it's not that type of crowd at all. I mean, but like it's just pretty wild to say that. Um, if these guys release anything that's going to upset the middle class that much, dude, is what I'm saying. Well, you don't is, understand. There's like this is like a perfect storm that's brewing right here because right, you know what's what going to happen. Mean. No, what you know what's going to happen? What's what's going to piss off a lot of people? Okay. Ready? Is yeah. It, it doesn't matter what you fucking believe. Right? If you're a cheerleader for um gung ho, the right or the left. Gung ho, the illusion of gung ho capitalism or something, right? Right. If you're just like rooting Wall Street on, right? right? You don't have a choice right now. Even if like the corporations or whatever pass the buck on to you, the sheer oh. inflation of the situation that we are in now, right now, that it, you haven't even seen anything yet, that alone is going to pass it down. The easiest way I can explain it to anyone is if you go to the store with 10 bucks, could be 10 euros, could be 10 pounds, I don't care. And last, last, Last uh, this summer or last summer, you were getting ten items in your cart for, uh, that yeah. you could buy with that. You're only going to get six, and you don't have a choice of that. Now, right. that may mean less to somebody who who thinks they are shielded by the by a high income or something. But the way it's going to affect you, it may not matter. But I just want to explain to something. Even if you got a couple million in the can, that ain't Jack Diddley squat. <laughs> That's nothing, and especially um, because there's going to be clamoring, like the the left or even people like MoveOn.org or anybody. The first thing they're going to try and do from these worldwide movements is they're going to use it to tax the nouveau riche. So these people what that are in, what do you mean by that? That means new rich. Oh, okay. That's that's a fancy word for new rich. So like if I started a business, I I would be all right. No, it, I would just, now you, let's say it broke open. They're gonna go crazy on me. Other than maybe Verizon that's been around. No, forever. check this out. There's a whole class of people now that are like in in these management positions, upper management of of uh, things, and in these these traders and people who play in that system of the finance and stuff. In the finance, there's there's armies of them, man. And, and right, like right. people who are lawyers and all this kind of I stuff. I live all around. This is who all my neighbors are. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, there's going to be a clamoring worldwide that those people that that their tax thing has to change. They're talking about Obama and Warren Buffett. Everybody's talking about like, oh, we want to we want to hit millionaire tax. If you get a millionaire, here's five five percent more tax. That's going to that's to appease the populace. Right. It's so much bigger it's a than little, that. It's like a little crumb, though. It's bigger than that. These banks are going down for sure. There's no, cho there's no choice. And the, well, right. other, the other thing about it is like, you know, this is kind of like a, a plan. The Anunnaki took all our gold fucking 30,000 years ago. We can't back our money anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it, it gets bigger than that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. I'm fucking around. Yeah. 
No, but it's uh, – I just feel like um, – So you have to ask yourself – you have to ask yourself like – and a lot of these situations are really complex. So you got to remember that like you have to ask yourself who do you want to – what who do you want to have win in the end? So like that's going to shut you up in a lot of different ways. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's hard. You want a job, but you don't want to be fucked around. Well, even even it, let's even go with with them playing hardball with Iran for a second, right? Well, yeah, that's a whole other thing. Yeah. But listen, you know, it's one thing to be against these wars and how how people do it and being lied to and the expenditure going into that and all that yeah. stuff. But then you have to think. Then you have to get down to brass tacks, which is basically. You got to say, who do you want to win, have win? My issue isn't even with any of that stuff. See, I'm against these stupid wars, but I'm not against violence or any of that shit. What I'm saying is, to me, it, it, it seems like Hammurabi. You on Hammurabi law? <clears throat> well, check this out. Definitely, Mar- right? It makes sense. Rock solid. But anyways, listen. The the one thing that that I see is 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 it's pretty simple. Go ahead. Well, it's it's awkward oh. to watch a lot of this shit happen. It's clumsy, and you can tell like the hubris. Do you know what that word means? No, go ahead. Let That's just mean. where somebody's so full of their own shit that they they're right, not okay. going to consider what's really going on. It's like their ego stops them from perceiving that they may be wrong. Like are, their logic's out of whack. Hard to change it. Hard to change it. All I right. see a lot of that. I see a, then, too much of that, that word. That word jingoism or whatever. You jingoism. Use yeah, oh, that is just New York City to the T. I mean, fucking, they don't even... Ugh. Well, they turn, you, they turn that up full blast after 911, too. Oh, I know. Believe me, I know. Well, that's what you... Jingoism basically means, like, when they when they show you on Fox News or something, this eagle morphing into a jet fighter plane with an American flag in the background and all that stuff together, that's what just pure jingo, jingoism. Right. But anyways, we're not getting down on, on the way people, people are. What I'm just saying is... is what I see is that even the think tanks, some of the ways that people are approaching these problems. When the things that you need come at just the right speed, that's logistics. Medicine that can't wait, legal briefs that by aid, that's logistics. Uh, you would see that a lot of these plans wouldn't fail so dramatically. Like, for instance, a lot of people in America right now are are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people in America are worried about this collapse and the collapse of society um, and the collapse of like even how the, the parties, the political system, how it's broken down or it's been co-opted by corporations. Everybody has these fears and they're coming from different directions, right? Right. Well, so then they have contingency plans or they, like, they also have things that they'd like to see happen, right? Mm-hmm. Well, it's just important that just because you know that people are going to be pissed off and they're going to be protesting and it, it'll probably get violent and all kinds of things can happen, right? It's important well, not to just, like, come out there also and crack heads, say, like, oh, you know, people are going to be hungry and, and it's everybody's three three meals away from a revolution, all that stuff. So we got to have these tanks and this all this stuff, you know, these gas and these sound cannons and stuff. It's important to also understand that there's a lot of different ways that things can go. And just by having another contingency plan, which is, is paying attention and addressing people's concerns the best you can right. now, without bullshit is also very useful. You know how much bullshit's been so ingrained, though, dude? Like how, how – I, I You, I you have to understand. Stop. Well, you have to understand the, the powers that be. Like this has been, this has been talked about for a long time. That this was this was going to happen. See, right, people I, saw oh, the flaws, obviously. but the flaws and everything bring out the necessity for the actual great change. See, so with a collapse, that people are going to beg for the banks to be open and for uh, business to be as usual. So that allows them to change the whole, clean the whole clock at once. Yeah. Otherwise, they that. could never have a unifying force. To right. Do I it. know we all have to be on the same page, but I mean, no, I'm also, talking about I'm talking about a political. If you want to talk about a one world system, the collapse, right, the right. collapse is what allows it to happen. Exactly. But on the other hand, on the other hand, so you can, a lot of this stuff is nothing to sniff at. 
Right. But there's like fears of I want I want to point something out to the people that are listening. If 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 the book 1984 was for revolutionaries, they wouldn't it wouldn't be re- required reading to 10th graders in, in, in America. Facebook. That is yeah. to identify something else is to prepare your mind to get the, to get to get ready for it. Yeah. That's just like the it's giver not, too when we it's read It's just the like the Matrix. Books. The Matrix isn't about you know, you rooting for this this Keanu Reeves character, right? right. And your idealism. You're no, it's the fucking spot. The outsiders. Oh, I see. See, there's a whole counterintuitive intelligence out there. Well, yeah, but yeah. That's... See, you, you have to prep your mind for, like, certain scenarios and, and ideological packets or just awarenesses. It's morals, right, versus, it's morals versus dogma. Right, right, right. It's like your you sense know, of morality versus this teaching. The, the the thing that's weird too around here, I don't know about you if you have even cable TV or whatever. But no way, I live like, in, I live in Germany, man. Why, why would I watch German cable television? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. But the uh, the cable around here, right, is is so low you can't even hear a show on like seventy, right? As soon as the commercials come on, it's it's fucking blasting my speakers out, and it all and it's like what you're saying. It's like having the kids sit there and need to have. Like whatever the fuck is advertised, because if they don't have it, they're depressed and they're suicidal and they're sad. They're eight years old. And it's like this kind of shit has been going on. And it's the same. It's all intertwined like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's it's that kind of shit. That's that's just and everybody's got a cell phone bill. Everybody's got a cable bill. Everybody's got whatever electricity. And they're going to now they're going to tax electricity, whatever, all this stuff. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the thing you brought up. See, people think that they can avoid some of this stuff. But when they're bailing out all this stuff, which they are like the U.S. is printing up money right now. The Fed just right. said, just said Europe, Japan, Australia, England, take what you need right now. We'll just give it to you to liquid to uh, recapitalize. When they do that, that's how they're going to pass it along. Like, for instance, in Italy, they just passed a law. They're giving everybody 1500 to 2500 euros a year right to your electric, electric bill. Every single house, every single business. You don't have a choice. Cool. Your landlord passes it on Wait. to you. What do you mean? Wait, tax? Do you say? It's Yep. For oh, I thought you meant they're giving it to them like a stimulus. No, no they're oh, taking it away. That's, a, that's just an added bill that they just give you. You have no choice whatsoever. That's fucking horrible. What, what, what's the median income over there anyway? I really don't even know that. Okay, kind of our friends from Italy who call in and tell us the average – it cost, just put it, look at it this way. If you live – if you live like in Milan or any of these places, the right. cheapest rent you could possibly get would be like 800 euros a month. So that's like 16. For anything. But wait, but just look at it this way. It would be like 800 euros – of your paycheck, right? And your paycheck's going to be a thousand. Yeah. So for the average person who's like, you know, maybe in my age group and below, it's impossible. Can't live off two hundred euros a month for food very well or do anything else. And that's right. That doesn't even count your electricity or anything else, your transportation or your food or whatever. Well, and that's like have fucking that's, crazy social problems like that, though. No, that's why the mob was so big there. They're yeah, the only ones yeah, who any but listen, fucking- they're downgrading Italy. They're downgrading Italy because they're saying, well, you can pay off your debt, but we know that by 2030, you guys are going to be pissed and not want to do this austerity. So we're just going to downgrade you and charge you more money now and make it impossible for you to pay off the debt. Yeah, that's their rationale. Yeah, that's how they sell it. Well, the theory that the, – the, the, the thing that the banks are doing and the financiers are doing that's really annoying right now they're playing this game. See, they're raising the interest because they know, first of all, they bet all these these derivatives. They make all these investments in derivatives. They bet on things they know they're going to fail. Then they insure them because they know that e- they can make money off failed deals. Right. And they're Just pass- like the mortgage But bubble. listen, they're passing that on to every single person. So they're making money off taxing you. Right. That's fucking nuts. And you it's have no nuts. you have no representation and there is no recourse. Yeah. There is it's no fu- recourse. And the government is Goldman Sachs in America. And this is Yeah, you know this is you know what's funny. This, Listen, this, I, wait, I, wait, wait, wait. This is economic warfare. 
Oh yeah. Because the end that book. Well, the the, the, the the end result of it is a new system that will be clamored for. Do you see where yeah. this is headed? Yeah, you don't, you don't have I, to agree uh, with me. You can look I, it up. I worked at fucking Goldman Sachs, right when they were building the big tower downtown. I was in there, and uh, you should have seen the shit they were spending money on, dude. I mean, money out the ass. They were importing wood from Tokyo that's like fucking thousands of years old or whatever that has to be cured, and they were making these walls that were, they look like Disneyland, and it was just a friggin' trading floor. Like the walls looked like the. The Fantasia walls, they were all waved out and all this shit. The lights were all from different places. Crazy shit. We used to have all American-made stuff, period. Yeah. Now, I mean, and then you can see it. And then Obama gets elected, and all those dudes that were making that tower go, they were some of those guys were actually there looking at their office, where their <laughs> actual office would be and stuff. They're all of a sudden, now they're in, in the campaign. They're gone. So, well, you know, you know that the whole government is made up of these financial guys. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. I in see the US that they're all now. there on it's the first cabin. time. But it's the first time they used to have people that were from industry. They were people from represented from with a legal background. There were scholars. Wait one second. Wait one second. Wait one second. In the history of America, there used to be. It was kind of like the fairy tale of Atlantis when the when the shit hit the fan. They all went into a boat and they had like a soldier, a sailor. They had the physician. They had a magician. They had all different types, and they made up the the, the future colony. Right? The Noah's Ark, yeah. And the government used to be like that. They used to appoint people from agriculture and people from industry and people from banking and people from the military and people that were scholars. They used to do that. They're not. They didn't do that when Obama. Yeah, in. but listen, let's well, not, let's let's not get down on Obama because guess I'm not, what? No, this I is so I... much. This is so much bigger than that. I know it is. He's a figurehead. Okay. I know. I know. I know. I mean, I think the guy actually wants to make a good change and difference. No, in- no, 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 no. Because if you do that, right? If you really want to do that, then you fucking right. go. Then you go to fucking uh, India or you go someplace and you like dig wells for people. Yeah. Well, you don't yeah. get it into a position. Broke. You you don't even complain. Can, uh, claim to be. Uh, intelligent well because uh, the the president of the united states sets the tone for an right. administration <laughs> yeah there's I very mean, yeah. very little you know i i just think yeah i know it's very it's hard to it's hard to pick it out you know man like what do you think about ron paul down there at the Right at at the protest, Zucotti, are yeah. the things that Ron Paul are talking about are nothing less than total war to the powers that be. Right. I want you to think about that. Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely I mean, what, no, so. He calls himself a libertarian. Well, if you want to look at the real thing, the non-co-opted part of it down there. If you look at this protest against Wall Street, and if these people say they're digging in, mm-hmm. right, right, then what that basically is is right now, publicly, maybe the mayor has said, "Well, we'll see." Right, yeah. we're going to see, but said, eventually, yeah. then they'll say, "Go, it's time for you to go," and the people say, mm-hmm. "No," and then they'll say, "Well, we've got to enforce this." Right, right. And then people will get their heads cracked and some people will be outraged or maybe the winner will do it for them or maybe it won't. But right. here's the thing. Do you see where all this is headed? Uh, tell me. I have an idea. Well, there but... is no change. There is no change that can be really truly affected because there – I think Ball there, 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 is a big word. They already you... did. They already did the change. They've already told you Google and Facebook and everybody has told you in the U.S. government and Department of Homeland Security. And then uh, the Gary Schmitz, these people that formerly were from PNAC and the Project of the New American Century, the people right. that are the, – the, the William Crystal guys, everybody has told you exactly what they're doing. Rumsfeld said this is a 50-year war. Right, I heard in I, Afghanistan, I and that. you're going, well, how can this? How can how can 50 hardcore guys in a cave make something that lasts 50 years? That's not what it's about. 
You just about World War Three. Well, people aren't listening. So anyway, the thing yeah. is, it's like you have to look at what that what that means. If those people say they they they're not going to move, well, it's it's a we'll see. But it's nothing short of like a declaration. You know, perhaps it could be steered away. Perhaps it could be placated. But I find that difficult to to see because because I feel that more people are going to have more issues that are similar are are I, along the same lines. Yeah, there's just going to be in, endless supplies of people standing up on the soapbox. Yeah. So that's right. I don't see how you can placate them. Well, you can try your hardest to dumb them down. That's really all they – that's their main tactic too, you know? Well, people have a legitimate – people have a legitimate cause for for outrage. That's why I, cool. I, I – I'm not encouraging people to protest, but that's why I, I – I, But I, why not? I mean it's a freedom – it's written in our constitution. I mean peaceful protest is a part of our American way. You have to understand I mean, all, all that stuff was suspended. That that already happened. It, you, you just didn't read about it. The thing is, is you got to look at all that stuff. Uh, there are how, no, how could they suspend the Constitution? Because though? they did. See, like, but listen to me. You have to look at all those things that you were taught and what your understanding of the Constitution says, and look at that more as a privilege, because you can be allowed to exercise that as a privilege. It is your privilege to do that. But everything is completely subjective. <laughs> To oversight you don't just have this right to do all this this stuff well i mean it's obvious with freedom of speech rob that's obvious how they treat that but yeah and i see what you're saying it's it, you, the rights and privileges things mess people up um but you know that's that's part of what what after 911 those laws were all about if you look into it yeah the, the stuff is, yeah. well the, the the biggest thing about it is they said well these laws are only to combat terrorism well you've got people from the republican party calling the protesters terrorists i know they never got a guy in wisconsin wait, calling wait, the wait. unions in new they york nev- they never they never define the word terrorism that's the problem right it's just a scare attack there are a set of word. so yeah well i don't know it was good talking to you dude Right on. I hope you're not pissed at me. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just, I'm in the fucking thick of it over here, you know? It's like, it's just one of those things. Well, you need it's to like, chill out because guess what? This the energy level, you know, the energies that just, they just, you know, they seep through me like that. Yeah, it's well, just one ch- of those check things. it out. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta chill out because it's gonna take a while. I know it is. I know. And, I'm and you young, haven't, you so. haven't seen, any, <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. But, oh, can I, let me ask you one question quick. It just slipped my mind before. Listen, do you have a 401k or anything like that? I'm not trying to get too nope. crazy with it, but nope. you don't, right? No. Nope. You so you do, did you ever have that kind of option with anything? Well, I had my own option, you know, for whatever reason, you know. But I'm, I mean, like, wait, wait, wait one second. I'm, I'm pretty pretty much an independent person who's intelligent. You know, I could have pursued any path that I wanted to pursue. I just don't believe in that. Yeah, I, my question was how. Like, I I remember hearing something about reinvesting is the way to keep out of this game the that be- they're playing. Well, the best way to reinvest is to constantly, you know, keep producing. It's called cap- cash flow. Right. Not right, not right. gamble like in a crowd of people. You know, like basically in some mutual fund or your your your, your diversified portfolio. The best right, way, like, the best way you can do it is keep investing in to you you create econ- economic engines that keep create producing keep, stuff. Yeah, keep on. But we're sell, all yeah. but we're all inner inner intertwined in this other people's follies that have nothing to do with you except for you're on the hook to pay for it. Right. And you can't avoid it. You can't just say, "Well, I don't make enough money to pay taxes," because it just it, it's this is also inflation. Lots of inflation. Three percent this year. Yeah. I know so it's far. like for me to take money out of those funds, it would be almost like forty percent gone right off the bat. They're going to take that money out of those funds, man. Bank of America and these banks are going down. 
Well, it's not in a bank like that, but it's uh, well, they're all interconnected else. because you, your your stuff is invested in the blue chip of America. These these corporations are going down because those guys are all invested. This is like it's all intertwined. You don't have a choice well, where your your four hundred one k is 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 going or anything. I, I don't know. Yeah. Now I, I'm not I, trying to pack uh, panic you with with. Some wait, kind what? Of, wait, what did you just say? I don't, or I do have a choice where the where that would go. Well, that money is invested. When you put money anywhere, that's the the reason that they're paying well, no, you interest. Well, no, the thing is, I get my money's put in through my employer. What do you, th what do you think the 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 fucking bank where it's at is doing with the money? They're loaning out. Oh right, these right. loans are bad. Yeah, yeah. Like, you got you just got to look at what Moody says and and the, these uh these companies. <laughs> I want to take it and keep it on my own, but I don't want to get penalized like that. So I don't know. That's my whole thing. I don't know what to do about it. Well, I, you know I, mean? I don't want to get give be leading leading people to some false information, but I'm under the impression this shit's gonna fall. So you you need to look into what you can do and 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 figure out a good plan for your yourself. I don't know your situation. No, I know, I know, I know. It's I, it's just a kind of a one of those questions. Uh, yeah, inflations and all this shit. Yeah, it's so crazy. They they've got it got it. Yeah, it's fucked. Whatever. All right, man. Good talk. I'll Cheers, talk to you, man. Okay? Take care. Woo. All right, dude. Just visiting. Where the hell are we at? I guess we're down here.